What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy BT today. We've got another product from TST. It's a rare sprocket. We're gonna keep the same tooth setup, which is a 38. Same as the stock, but this should be a nice little upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. Let's get this package open. There it is. Looks pretty good, and it's really nice and lightweight. Yeah, I like it so far. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, so we've got a 14 on this side, and we've got a 19 on this side, and we're gonna go ahead and loosen the axle. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and get some electric, some power equipment use here. Get this off faster. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and loosen these chain adjusters. And since I'm using, again, the TST product, it should make it nice and easy to get. Get this move in here. All right, so I'm gonna push this up pretty far there. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and get ready to pull that tire out. But before we do that, we're gonna make sure we're gonna support the tire before it drops out from underneath us. So I'm gonna go ahead, use that as a support, pull out my axle, let it, let it push forward a little bit, and then slide the chain off. And then I should be able to, there we go, take my wheel out. All right, so once you get everything aligned, be able to slide it out there. We're gonna put this down in the same position we found it. All right, so then chains out, gonna slide this from beside the brakes there and everything is out. And now we are ready to work on this piece right here with getting the bolts out and swapping over the new TST. All right, so now that we have this down, we can go ahead and get our uh, tool on here. Now this is a uh, this is a 17, so we're gonna get our impact tool. We're gonna get that situated and hold this in place and get these bolts loosened. All right. So with that done, we're gonna take, take these bolts off. All right, now we have the old sprocket off. Here is our new sprocket. Wow, that is super lightweight. All we do right there is slide that on and put our nuts back in place. All right, so I'm gonna use my tool to tighten these up a little bit. All right, now that we have this swapped out and we have our bolts on, the torque spec for this is 64 Newton meters or 47.2 foot pounds. All right, and with that sprocket on and in place, all we have to do now is put these guys back in place. The long side goes on the inner side of the wheel. Same for this, the smooth side there, at least the smooth side you can see, they look like they're both the same size, but this is the side that'll go back in because it has that grease mark on it. And then all we'll do is slide this back in place here. And with that in place, now I'm gonna grab our chain, slide the chain right over this here so that we can get that in place. Get the chain situated without dropping anything. All right, and we should be good to go now. So all we have to do now is get everything back in line and slide the axle through. 
get our brake back aligned here so the axle can pass through the hole and then we should be good to go. All right, and once you get everything aligned, it's a matter of tightening everything back down and you are good to go again. Get the chain adjusted, get everything snug looking good and we are good to go. So all I'm gonna do now is tighten back up these bolts here and then get the chain adjusted and the job is done. All right, and the torque spec for the rear axle is 54 Newton meters or 39.9 foot pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and torque this and we're done. As for this video, I thank you guys for checking it out. Out with the old, well, out with the new, in with the new, new, better. It's your boy BT, thanks for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.